There's been an update, free Blender add-on for chopping things up. So over here on the left-hand side is the new Carve tool. Now, if you don't have that there, edit preferences. In add-ons, we're gonna type in bool, and we're gonna enable the bool tool, that one. Now, by default, it is open on the square one, and you can see how we can do cutting stuff out. Well, make sure you select it. Click and drag, done, slice. So this mode is super destructive. However, if we go ahead and start drawing our square, cube, rectangle, that's the word. I can use the arrow keys to create arrays. Bam. We can as well hold shift. So we go into kind of like square tool. We can have alt and we go like this and we can press space bar. We'll hold space bar and we can move it around to different locations. If we want to round off the edges, we just press B. And if we want to increase the bevel, hold B. And then we can see we just move the key slightly nice. <laughs> move it left, move it right, just to give it some more curve. So wait. Now over here on the left hand side, if we click on that circle tool, and we can draw our circles. Now if that circle is a little bit too jagged for you, control Z that puppy, up into shape we can increase the amount of vertices, so for 40s for instance, click and drag, and we slice a hole like that. Last but not least, if we left click polyline carve, this is how we can draw our polylines and create our slice like that. However, super destructive, as I mentioned earlier. So let's bring a new cube back into the polycarb. Let's go ahead now. And where it says destructive here in the top left-hand corner, we're gonna change that to modifier. Let's now go ahead, click and drag our piece. And for those of you who have followed me for quite some time, know that I love this shape. So we have that, not exact, but good enough. Over here in the top right-hand corner, we've now got Boolean cutters. So if you bring that back, we can now, ugh, we can now edit that shape. So we can bring it back and you can kind of see how we can do these kinds of things. Now it's still a little bit limited. It's not gonna be a hard ops. It's not gonna be a box cutter. It's not gonna be the other one, but you can quickly see how we can use this to kind of create our shapes, so on and so forth. Like and subscribe and don't forget to stay hydrated.